Welcome to jobskillshare.com Today the video is about the starting of computer lab technician course so if you're new to YouTube from the YouTube sorry or from any other place this is a part of this course that I'm teaching so if you go to jobskillshare.com and register to this site and you come to the portal you will click on course catalog and then you will go all the way down and click on computer lab technician short course this is a short course but it will cover almost everything that a computer lab technician needs it's a skill based course so once you learn this once you go through this course once you pass the projects and if there is any test you should be able to um, I can guarantee you if you finish this you should be able to get a job because we are going to cover everything as a lab technician needs so once you go in there then you click on learning path and when you click on lab technician there's a first video where I talk about introduction of this course then there's a second uh, lecture right here section one this video will be under section one and it is also about talking and how are we going to uh, go for this course and what what will be covered here so I'm going to pull up my little paint thing so I'm going to open it up alright so just don't focus on this part right now we're gonna come to it what we need to do first is we need to make sure um, we start from something very very important so I am going to start from here let's say for example we are we are a company jobskillshare.com okay and we got three labs to man manage as a computer lab so I hired you or somebody hired you your job in this company is to manage only these three labs okay so what we have here we have three labs one lab one and then we have second lab right here and then we have third lab each lab all of these lab we purchase identical computers because that's what most of the companies do when they go for um, compute buying computers for labs they keep they basically um, buy same everything because the prices are kind of the sales are good uh, and then because it's it's easy to manage all these identical computers hardware you don't have issues with softwares or um, um, operating systems so that's why they keep it that way so this is what we are going to do is we have lab one we have lab two and then we have lab three and all of these computers are on work group computer work group so they're not on domain they're all on work group so basically each computer is its own managed by its own there's no central management so basically each lab will have 20 computers okay so we have 20 computers in each lab now when you got hired basically most of the companies will it will be rare if you get hired and somebody tells you to do the shopping and do everything and then set it up and everything most of the time you get hired by a school um, universities or a company that have labs or some kind of training environment some kind of school based um, company that will have this setup and most of these computers will be already there so this job what this sorry this course I will basically try to um, mostly focus on that area that these computers are already set up these are already bought for you now it's your time to manage them from scratch and that's what mostly people are going to be expecting when they are are hiring you they're not going to be expecting someone to come on in build us labs and do everything from the scratch no it's going to be labs already there you're replacing somebody somebody's retiring or whatever reason you're just basically going in there or maybe they needed an extra lab technician um, so this is what we are going to start so we have a company we have three labs all of them are on work group and each each lab have 20 20 20 computers now our job is to manage them um, in a group in a good way so that you're one person then you're trying to centralize everything so you don't have too much trouble so imagine let's say if you don't have everything centralized and then you have all these three labs these are 20 20 20 that's 60 computers right there 
and let's say if you somebody comes in tomorrow and tells you to deploy um, we have a new uh, there's a problem with our Java uh, version which is um, old I want you to go ahead on these 60 computers start installing the new one uh, updated one so you're gonna I mean a normal person would do is they will start from one computer they will start downloading it first you will download it and then you will start installing it and then maybe you will get like okay you know what I can just put it on a share and then once you have it a share then you can just go to each computer pull that software from that share and you still think that you know what it's still too much time you know you can't just go to these computers you wanna just get something centralized so then you can just with one push you can just download uh, Java to these word group computers now remember they are not on domain where you could use a policy active directory stuff or other software that easily catch all these um, clients and then you can deploy stuff with it so this is word group computer we're gonna have to have some kind of software to do that for us what are we looking for in this uh, the whole course that we are gonna do we're gonna go through first we're gonna our main goal will be to manage this is our job here to manage all these computers then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to find something that can do patch management so let's say there's there are different um, let's say for example there's service pack 1 service pack 2 came out or some other stuff came out like that from Microsoft or non Microsoft softwares that you need to patch them you would be able to you will need something patch management system that will have everything in one place and then when you know it's available then you can push it to these computers right here all these computers at once what we will need another one is asset management what you want to know is that for example you after three years all these computers are running XP and now after a few years you want to change everything to Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you do want to you want to run a report for your manager you would need some kind of asset management tool that will scan all these computers and find out what version we are running first what kind of software we what kind of RAM what kind of hard disk and stuff like that it will be done by this guy right here so we need something to find uh, a software online well most let me tell you guys something I'm gonna stop here I'm gonna be using a lot of open source or free softwares because this is what I can do here I can uh, go for the corporate ones but they're almost the same thing if you get the concept of patch management you will have something maybe free but little less options in there but when you go to corporate world business area they bought these softwares then the same thing but a little bit more options more advanced or whatever it will be more easy actually because the paid ones are mostly easy than the open source one that you have to do a little work on it so we we're gonna get when we get used to this stuff you're definitely gonna learn about this so asset management we need to get something that can scan all these computers give us reports whatever we need from these computers we can pull it from this guy software deployment just like I said if we have a small software uh, like a flash or something like that Adobe Reader Java these are very normal software that every computer needs these days and let's say somebody comes in that say Adobe is not opening up because we have older version on these computers we need an updated one you're not gonna go through start on uh, on these each computer and spend almost three days to finish it up so what you need to have is a soft software deployment um, software and we we're gonna get that and try to install on all these computers at once um, so that will really make our uh, job easy we're gonna we're gonna find something like a remote control software so let's say there's a student you're not available right now you're uh, maybe um, telecommuting or for some reason you're working from home but there's a student in this lab that is having an issue but you want to see exactly their screen so you don't have to do RDP because that will kick them off you just want to see exactly what's going on with the student screen what uh, where are they having an issue you want to log in as like them then you would need some kind of VNC or some different kind of software that will do that job for you so we were gonna find something that will do the exactly what we need to do from this remote control guy from here and we will use it for like specific single machine troubleshootings and we can also do the remote control so we would need to find something like that in this course to do that reports like I said this guy and this guy kind of relate so when we find the software or with asset management it will also do the reporting for us system tools 
this could be for like troubleshootings and stuff like that maybe we want to run a check test on since we are in a lab environment we want to make sure that these computers are healthy with their hard disk and if they're like some other stuff like you know cleaning them automatically we want them to be clean let's say after a weekend every friday night i want to push something from a system tool and run on these computers to clean all the temporary files on these computers we could do that so this will be all so we're, we're going to learn this all this stuff um and then keep them uh, uh, because the, my main purpose is let's say for example somebody come oh there's a lab environment let's just put something like a kiosk machine here and then whatever they do at night everything will be wiped off tomorrow they come back and it's easy yeah i know that it's pretty easy to do that but what we want to do from this course is i don't just want to teach you guys how to make a kiosk machine and then it, that's it you're done but you never you will never learn about patch management asset management this is more advanced stuff and this will help your career grow because when you go for interviews for let's say it support specialist uh help desk support specialist or any jobs that deals with users now they're not dealing with kiosk type machines they're dealing with users that machines needs to be updated patched all this stuff this will require then you know if you don't have experience with this stuff you're not going to be able to get those kind of jobs even administrators do this stuff so you can even go to that level you want to decide to stick to this and go in deeper and deeper work on servers you, you're going to be getting a job like server engineering jobs and since this is a short course i'm going to be trying to keep it very sh um um two specific things so we want a patch management we'll go for batch management we're gonna go do we're gonna finish everything like that everything on the right side and then at the end we will just do okay you know what now let's go back to the kiosk stuff let's just find a software that will do that for us you know let's just let the student work today whatever they want to do with this computer they can do it after um after four or five p.m when they leave computer will be restarted and everything will be wiped off we can do that too then there will be different kind of scenarios let's say students are taking a survey you're running up uh you now you want some kind of like a portal so what's what's portal or internet that can be run inside the company so let's say for example you're in, in you're in this network we're in jss network we have a little small site for these students where they share their documents with their teachers or in the classrooms or do any kind of other stuff that you want we will have like a small site we we're going to have to build that for them too so that you will learn it's very important for you guys to learn this too this will in in many companies in almost every company these days they're running like internet so there could be a sharepoint internet there could be a different type of internets but they're running something in internal internally and then we'll have a students because students have um um uh, local profiles and stuff like that we will have to go into this like resetting passwords in local but like for example if you work for any universities they have these in, um uh, these secure uh portals so if you log into it and you forget the password who do you call you call their help desk right and that's what they do they reset their password so we're not going to only learn just to manage these labs you're going to learn a lot a lot of stuff that relates to these labs who is who is the main people over here students are the main people we want to know about them too you're gonna know some real world examples like you know how to deal with students and what kind of problems do they get usually uh, and some quick ways like um, if this portal went down and then a teacher comes to me there's a there's a document he wants to share with everybody today as soon as possible or there's a survey the survey portal link goes down but you have another way to share that survey then you can how do you do that do you send an email to everybody do you are you gonna make everybody go to their gmails yahoo hotmails and and then people are gonna be trying to pull that in somebody will get it somebody somebody won't get it because it might get blocked so then you want to come up with some kind of good way a quickest way how do you do that you know so this is this was the video that this is a this is the main what what are we going to cover in this whole course once we are done you're going to be able to answer anything related to this stuff and once you have the experience and all all over this stuff you're going to get the certificate once you go to interview you will definitely know more than just managing computers work group computers in lab uh, you will have a lot of experience dealing with it so you could you can use this as a lab technician or you can use it for your other jobs like help desk and stuff like that so this this video was just a lecture and next video we were going to be 
starting from the start so what we're gonna do in this video is the first thing we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have let's say I'm gonna make this a new one right now so in the next video what's gonna happen is that we're going to start technical stuff so we're gonna have a connection from some company let's say AT&T gave us a connection here okay this is what we're going to do we're gonna make first of all we're gonna make sure that we have security so we're gonna look for a web filter or some kind of firewall that will do our job and then after that we go to our modem and router or whatever there is set up by your uh, administrator so we're going to learn about this part too this will leave because this is mostly done by network engineers and even this is mostly done by a network but we're just gonna go ahead and kind of do it just to make sure you guys know understand the idea and then we are gonna go ahead and let's say there's a switch and then after that after let's say there's three switches right here switch switch and then all these labs are connected to each switch and that's where we're going to start on these machines right here okay so after this whole course you should be able to get a good grasp of this information and uh, of course my courses are related to projects and I'm gonna make people do projects and without projects there's no certification so this is going to really test you and uh, at the end you'll, you'll be really happy that you learned something from this course alright guys see you guys in the next video thank you for watching